So one of our boat jobs we've got to do is repair this thing here. I'm not sure what it's called, but about two hours out of leaving Dartmouth, um, I was sat here looking out to sea, and I noticed this here. Let's see if I can show you. Nice big sharp crack. Um, a little hairline crack here. So, today's job is to try and fix it. It's a fiddly job, but not really. It's not supposed to be. The shiny new part. <laughs> What's its technical name? Don't know, do we? <laughs> I think it wants it. <laughs> So it's a main sheet, stand-up toggle. Well, the guys at Harkin reckon that we should have had the next size up, really. But I mean, this is a standard size for the for the Geno. Um, I think it's just because it was a 2011 part that it's failed, really, more than anything else. trying to get this little thing out of here which looks like dirt which is made out of plastic and uh, he seems to be just mullering up the top of it at the moment and you can see it's obviously been pulled over at some sort of strain I mean I know we've had a lot of storms over the winter but that seems a bit extreme The other side was, if you can see it properly, it's got a hairline crack on the other side, same sort of position, so a bit fiddly. And I think you have to push something in here to get that out. Eddie's very good at figuring these things out, hence why I'm doing the camera work and being assistant. Was lucky. <laughs> so Eddie just whacked that pin and it went bing all over there. <laughs> Luckily it landed down in that little gap. Otherwise that would have been right pain. What we got then? Uh, I'll try and get this shitty screw out. <laughs> Still got bits of screw. Be simple you said. It's supposed to be simple. Give it a clout. There it is. Hang on, fuck. Little 
Oh, Austin. Right, at the same angle, the fuck. <laughs> I think you'll be alright. It's not made for kids, this channel. Yeah. Yay, so, old and new. Did you reckon it would just be the age of this one, why it's... Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's broken. I see how worn it is, actually. Doesn't have any identification on this either. Mm. Whereas this one, it's got a Harkin 27mm on it. Yeah, maybe that was a dodgy second-hand part. I don't know. <laughs> Je ne spec. an old trick I learned from a farmer in Somerset. 1902. <laughs> his electric drill. 1902. this up with uh, Harkin's cheap grease. <laughs> grease, yeah, which is... Harkin's cheap grease, how much was that? This was... Um, About 25 quid or something, for that little tube. I think we sold two children and a small cat. <laughs> Well, this piece here, by the way, I think was about 96 quid for a piece of rubber and a very shiny piece of metal. Yeah. It does hold your main sound in position. That's true. So it's probably worth it. And they say boats don't cost that much money, eh? Who that? <laughs> I don't know, I must have dreamt it. <laughs> That's what farmers say. Yeah, boats don't cost much money. Don't ping it out the other side like you did when you put it in. No, I'm still talking. <laughs> and this, of course, won't be awkward at all. Slip straight in. I told you. Oh, I did. Shush. I told you it was easy. <laughs> Don't sound so surprised. Straight out the other side, then. Hopefully, yeah. Look at that. We are hanging Harkin branded now. Oh. If anyone can Har from Harkin can tell us if that's a genuine Harkin piece or a replica. <laughs> a genuine Harkin piece that isn't. Played. No, I don't think it is. These things are just held in by these tiny little, little grub screws. screw on this because these I think are a little bit prone to work themselves loose.
still a tiny bit of resistance on the screw, so I want to make sure. pin coming down on top of the pin as well. Handy bit of bungee. Bite yourself in the face. <laughs> Pins here. Turns out we got new pins. Two new pins, different sizes. Don't need to use that one. Two pins, different sizes. Ah, oh, helpful. Depending on the size of the hole in the Okay. Also got the other side, just a split pin. Hold <laughs> well on. See if it holds up for another what? Sixteen years. Twelve. Twelve. I'm not very good at maths. <laughs> there as well. I split pin, obviously to go on to a different type of one, so different type of traveller. Oh, okay, it's got like a sleeve on it. Yeah. Uh, if, if the hole, the block itself, yeah. was 8mm instead of this one being 10mm, Mm. You'd use these, so you push that in and closes in on the other side. Mm -hmm. So the shaft itself in the block, the hole smaller, you'd use the smaller of the two. Obviously, this one's a 10mm, it's like a big. So that's what you get if you buy 
a what is it called? A toggle. Toggle for parking, I suppose. It means she'd toggle. 